Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic we're going to discuss the Greek alphabet. So we're going to introduce the Greek alphabet, show where it's used, and give some history. In this course and future courses, you will be using Greek letters. For example, Greek letters are more or less ubiquitous within quantum mechanics. Like the Latin alphabet, Greek letters have both lower and uppercase representations. Now English letters tend to have very short names that are never written. Greek letters, however, are given names that are multisyllabic. Now these are the Greek letters. I'm not going to read these out for you. Instead, I'll focus on the ones that you will end up using. Now, a lot of the Greek letters are very similar to Latin letters and therefore are not used specifically. Some of the more common Greek letters that you will or have used include in mathematics, where you see pi, delta, epsilon. Statistics uses mu, sigma, and chi. Angles and angular frequency are represented by theta and omega. Quantum mechanics uses as their wave functions phi and psi. In algorithm analysis, omega, big theta, big omega, big O, little o are used. In the syst international system of units, mu is a SI prefix. In this course, we're mostly going to restrict ourselves to alpha, beta, gamma, delta, lambda, and sigma. And of course, the word alphabet itself are the A's and B's of your writing, or alphabet. As you can see in this table, a lot of the names of the letters between these languages are very similar. The first three are Semitic languages and they focused entirely or mostly on consonants. These are called adjabs. All three of these Semitic languages likely adopted their alphabet from a common Proto-Canaanite alphabet which was derived likely from Egyptian hieroglyphics. Now the Phoenicians were great traders. Carthage, for example, was a Phoenician colony. The Greeks trading with the Phoenicians likely adopted their alphabet. However, there were certain letters that were not used by the Greeks, and so therefore, instead of discarding them, they repurposed them to represent vowels. So in this topic, we've introduced Greek. You will see these throughout your undergraduate career. I will be using Greek letters throughout this course. However, again, I will be introducing them when I start using them and repeating them quite often. However, do try to familiarize yourself with them. Here are some references, acknowledgments, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers.